Today we're fishing at Yuba Reservoir in Utah for giant yellow perch. I know the word giant and yellow perch seem to be contradictory, but hopefully today we'll, well, we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna show you. This is my seven and a half foot stiff walleye rod, and I'm gonna show you a perch that these guys are unbelievably huge perch in this lake. See if we can get this one up here. This might not be one of the huge ones, but uh, we'll see if we can get up here it comes. Oh yeah, if it is. <laughs> oh man, here you. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold still. Oh, hold still. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Oh. Now that is a yellow perch Utah style. Today we're going to show you the tips and the tricks to get these deep water summer perch. We're catching these perch today trolling bottom bouncers like you troll for walleyes on actually on our walleye tackle. These fish are in, in 30 to 40 feet of water and we're trolling a one ounce weight to one and a half ounce weight with a spinner rig. That's what now. Hopefully this will be another one of those big dogs. Um, in order to have boat control, and we're back trolling with the electric to keep us hovering just about on top of these fish. And yeah, there's another nice fish there. And what we're doing is we're using a pretty, come here. Oh, no. There you go, gotcha. Another one, look at that. Giant, giant, giant perch. We're using a one ounce weight, a big spinner like you do for walleyes. And an ounce of weight to get the thing down. These fish are in 30, 40 feet. You gotta get that bait down almost under the boat because you've got the control to get a handle on them and get them. Put this one back, believe it or not, and go get another one. The way we're fishing today is I'm back trolling. I'm trolling backwards into this wind to keep our bait at a constant 30 feet and follow this break. If I were trolling forward into the wind, for example, the bout would tend to do an S curve and keep us off of the precise depth we need to be. Sometimes a boat can be your very most important fishing tool. Remember that the next time you're having a lot of trouble trolling in the wind, try back trolling. Just hit that, look at this, just hit that, look, 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 got it. Oh man, oh man, feels like a good one. Um, these fish are, have moved off of these splats from springtime as the water's warmed up and they moved into between 30 and 40 feet of water. And we're using a you know, fairly stiff seven and a half foot rods. We've got to get a pretty good line down there. And this, you know, this isn't a giant compared to those other ones. You know, but as perch go, even this one, which is a small one for this lake, is still, you know, a decent perch. The key to this is location. You've got to get out here in this deeper water, particularly now, geez, it's high noon, flat water, and we're still catching fish in 30 feet. It's a nice bite you can get all day long. The trick is to go out there. Get these fish, even that's a beauty. We'll put that one back and we'll go get another one. Okay, one of the reasons that we're able to get deep quickly with this, so just a one ounce lure in this much water, we're using a real thin super braid like Berkeley Fireline. Um, thin diameter, like eight pound test diameter. And really there's, there's a bite. Let's that fish hit. It's amazing, these fish are big dogs. I mean, look at it, this is a, you know, for stiff, <laughs> I said before, a good stiff action rod, seven and a half foot rod, something you normally wouldn't associate with perch fishing. These fish fight. Look at that, look at these things, fight. It's unbelievable. Great, here he comes. Oh yeah, look at that one. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, these are some sporty perch. These aren't your average everyday running in the middle six inch perch. Here are you. He says, I'm tired. One thing, folks, when you're bringing these fish up from 30 or 40 feet of water, by the time you get them up to the surface, they're pretty well out of gas. That, temp that pressure change really, really is hard on them. But <laughs> a huge Yuba Lake yellow perch. Awesome fish. So we'll put him in the live well, see if he'll recoup, and then we'll get another one. More good one here. Oh yeah, another one. So come here. You know. One being deep there really hammers these fish. Come here, come here. Hold still. Hold still. Gotcha. Boy, well, folks, if you love fish for perch as much as I do, and when you can catch a perch at average this size with bigger ones, 
You've got to come to Yuba Lake. It's a blast. We'll put this one back. Unbelievable average size perch. These things are huge. Folks, if you love to fish for perch, and I think everybody does, and you want to catch this is an average one and some giant, giant perch, come to Huba Lake, Utah. You'll have a great time.